Hello everyone, it's Diane and I am ready to show some circus journals that I have finally completed. The good news is I finally found the two items that I've been looking for for a week. The bad news is now I can't find the piece that attaches my camera to the tripod. But I really want to get these um, videoed and listed in my shop so I am going to attempt to do this holding my camera and I will do uh, one journal per video. So I'm just going to show the two that I'm going to list. When I find the piece um, I'll, I'll show you my daughter's journal. But for now we're going to start with this one. This one is made with just this cover that was plain yellow with a blue spine and of course I covered it with a blue fabric and buttons and it's a nice bright journal. I um, collaged some pieces on it. There's a little bit of bling here and a yo-yo with a little felt heart. There are, and there's a little bit of lace here on the edge, there are um, three signatures. There's some chenille fringe at the bottom of the front cover. I will put something on the inside that says this book belongs to. I forgot to do that. There's some ombre or um, variegated rickrack there. Really pretty colors. So this is a design team project for TLC Create Vintage. And the kit I used is A Day at the Circus. And this is one of the journaling cards. And I cut it or I printed it with cardstock and I made this with a border punch and just put an index card, a large card inside with some stamps and a little bit of trim there on the tab. There's a little bit of leftover trim there and some trim on the side of the page. Some fabric triangles sewn on the side there and this is a, a real coupon a ticket. It's not a real circus ticket but it's a ticket. On this page, <clears throat> I made a curved pocket. This is part of TLC's kit. And this is the little cl um, cutout clowns that you'll see throughout the book are from Gecko Gal's collage sheet called um, Clowning Around, I think it's called. And there's a little red and white striped ticket. Someone sent this to me. It's a little postcard. It's got a clown on it. And this is from that booklet that I got at a flea market very recently. And it is an order sheet. Order. It was a booklet stapled together. Um, and it's orders for circus supplies. So each of the books got a sheet of that in their, one of the pockets or clipped on or something. This is part of TLC Creates Vintage. I love it. With, got popcorn on the background and then some elephants. And this is also from TLC Creates Vintage. This is a set of papers called um, Basic, basic um, Borders, I think. This is from a children's book about a circus seal. Fabric flipped there with some of the vintage braid that I got at a flea market. Popcorn bag. There's a page from a children's book and a little cut out there. This is from a 1970s Barnum & Bailey Ringling Brothers souvenir book. The pages were very large but I cut them down and used several in each book. There's a sticker up there. This paper is TLC Creates Vintage. This is um, from Cardabella the Circus paper. A little animal domino card and this card. Pom-pom on the side. And of course this is TLC and this is a tag from TLC. I brushed coffee on the back of it and it faded out the colors. It was a brighter red but I liked the, the look and you can see the red through the back. There's the other side of the tag. There's spaces for writing on. TLC. 
There's a Stampin' Up! elephant stamp. This is a pocket made out of a vintage sheet and then some yo-yos and this is just a coin envelope. Um, I did a video on the creation of these. This is just something I found on Pinterest and so is that. And there's another page from that Circus Order book. Second signature has this clown that I found on Pinterest. There's a blue library card. He's a little tuck spot here. This is vintage wrapping paper. I glued it to some cardstock. I put some of this blue bling. And this is a really cute card that I found on Pinterest. The background paper here is um, TLC, and there's a little circus stamp there. This is a popcorn box or a treat box. Someone sent me several of those, knowing that I was going to be doing a circus journal. And there's a children's playing card glued to a tag. This is just the front of the box cut off. TLC is the background paper. Just some strips of paper that I tore. Another popcorn bag here. This is TLC paper. I love those vintage circus papers. Here's another of the tags. There are two tags, giant tags with the set, and they're in red and um, a brown color. This is from TLC. This is something I found on Pinterest black and white old vintage um, circus photos and this too. And then this is one of the envelopes that comes with the TLC kit. I, I printed them in two sizes, so here's the little one. And these there's a red one and a blue envelope. So where were we here? Okay, they go in that pocket. This was cut from Cartabella paper and this is from TLC couple other little tags in there. And we have the other side of the bag. This was cut from the, the souvenir book. I'm sorry, it's getting a little more difficult to hold the pages open. This is a piece of polka dot vellum and these pieces I cut from the souvenir book. And inside this is a page from one of the circus books that I have. With an illustration. Playing cards. A coin envelope folded up. It's got some stuff inside it. And then the third signature, this is also from TLC. There's another card inside there. Piece of wrapping paper here and a children's flash card inside with a clown on it. This is the slanted pocket that I made that I showed on a video. So here's a pocket and then this pocket slants slants down, this one slants that way, and this one slants that way, and there's something tucked in each pocket. This is TLC paper, and so is that. This is from the souvenir book, and this is Vintage wrapping paper. This is also vintage wrapping paper. I cut it out and glued it to this little tag that I made. And now I have to find my page. Here it is. Nope, that's not it. 
well, anyway, here's the back, and this is, I think that's from TLC, and this is from um, a children's book. There, this came out of here. So you get the gist of it. This book is just called Circus. Um, I might as well go through this one. It's only been 10 minutes. So this one is going to be wrapped in this blue tool, the circus one. And this one is called Dr. Doolittle's Circus, and it'll be wrapped in this yellow seam binding. I wonder if I can sit down and get my backache standing up here. I don't know if this will work. Let's try it. Sorry if I made you seasick there. Okay, so... I had that other cover that I was going to use, the Circus Parade. I'm, I'm trying. I'm going to sit still now. Um, but because I couldn't find the other book cover, which I just found now that this one's done, just found it this morning, um, I ended up using this one. It fit the pages that I was already making. And this one is called Dr. Doolittle's Circus, and it has some really cute pictures. The cover is so cute. Look at the animals and just the decoration on this cover. There's an elephant, an acrobat. It's just cute. And on the back, it's very faded. It's a vintage book. There's a couple of dogs dressed in costume. There are spots, and I covered the corners with metal book cover, or corners, because it's pretty vintage. And I used a pretty heavy, um, kind of like a duck cloth, I think, to cover the spine and some rickrack, some buttons on the spine, some really interesting buttons. And some vintage pom-pom at the bottom. Again, it's three signatures. I didn't cover this because it was so cute. And on the back, um, it was torn. The paper was torn right there, so I just put a little strip of the binding fabric there. So it has a lot of the same elements. I'll just flip through. Hopefully you can see it okay. I'm not going to pull everything out of the pockets. These are all also made with TLC papers. Here's the page. I just clipped it on from the Circus Order book. I love the way this coffee dye turned out. That's uh, The ridges there are a paper towel pattern. It turned out really cool. Vintage sheet from the 70s and some yo-yos. This is from a, a real circus. Clyde Beatty Cole and Cole Brothers Circus. Admit one child free. Pyramid Mall, Ithaca, New York. And this is a German ticket that somebody sent me. Wrapping paper. This is a pattern from a cookie sheet. I just bought a set of baking sheets at Sam's Club and they're, um, I forgot the name of them, but it had this pattern on them. But you also get a very clear imprint of a Viking <laughs> in the center of the pan. It has a Viking symbol and the name of the company. But I didn't have any of that in the book.
Here's one of the envelopes that I made. This um, Cardabella, <coughs> oh sorry, is quite sturdy. And here's the slanted pocket page on this in this book. There's a nice little banner up here. This one has another ticket. Clyde Beatty Circus. Here's a vellum pocket and illustration from a children's book, which you can pull out with this eyelash trim. I'm not going to pull it out. And this is from the Nabisco um, Toy Town Carnival. I had a bunch of them. I got them at a flea market last year, I think. Um, I don't think I saw one in the first book that I showed, but so I'll make sure that it will have one because each book should have one of these and this is a tree and at the base of the tree you can see it it's upside down from here but there's a clown I guess I don't know there's a, a horse I see a horse there so they're all supposed to be a carnival once you get everything cut out and set up this is from a children's book uh, my friend Leslie just sent me this book it just came two days ago. So I used some of the images and pages in these journals. Thank you, Leslie. This is one of the pages of that book, too. And here we have an advertisement from Hannaford Circus. This was in a, a package of circus memorabilia and ephemera that I got at the flea market the last time I went to that outdoor flea market. This is just a printable ticket tucked in here. TLC Creates Vintage has, vintage has such nice um, images. I love her kits. So, I, of course, I will link her shop below. Here's one of her envelopes. Um, it didn't print right, and I actually found another one that when I was cleaning up, I found another one that I had printed. Um, I was running out of ink. That's of um, blue ink. So I will replace that with the one that printed better. This is cut from the souvenir book. And there's the back page. So this one is called Dr. Doolittle's Circus. And both of these yellow books will be in my shop. And I will link my shop below along with TLC Creates Vintage. So you can go check out her beautiful digital kits. Um, I will do my daughter's journal right now. I might as well get it all done right now even though I'm holding my camera. So I'll be right back with that video.